Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Monday the 18th of June. And as usual, I'm just going to set up one of the signals from our hundreds that our members get every single day. So in our members area, our members get the choice to download spreadsheets for signals for long fifth wave trades on the weekly, the daily and the 60 minute time frame. Also short fifth wave trades on those same time frames and stochastic longs and stochastic shorts on intraday time frames. I've chosen short fifth wave trades today. So when our members click through, as you can see here, we go back quite a long way every single day we have. Uh, the signals and it's simply just click on the image and download today's spreadsheet which looks like this so I've chosen the daily time frame today don't forget down at the bottom here we have weekly daily and 60 minute these are all the potential signals uh, for fifth wave moves to the downside I've chosen one of these to set up on a chart CWH Camping World Holdings Inc from the our signals today so let's have a look at the chart so first of all this is the think or swim version of the wave 5 trade Elliott wave indicator suite it's also available for ninja trader trade station and multi charts for those that do have our indicator suite I've isolated the wave count at these highs in December last year and as you can see it's quite range bound there but this is really truly where we started the trend and our automated Elliott wave count has counted the one the two a nice long strong wave three down and we've just had this recent wave four pullback so let's zoom in there and look at this potential setup here so remember the fifth wave is the highest probability wave uh, of a trend and we're looking for the fifth wave down to our automated target zones down here in the blue but first of all I just want to talk about the filters for the scanner membership um, so the first filter is the wave 4 pullback into one of our automated target zones uh, pro probability pullback zones here it's found initial resistance in the green which is an 85 percent probability it's going to go on and make a new wave 5 low into our blue automated target zone down here around about sixteen dollars something like that also our 535 oscillator which is part of our indicator suite also is part of the signal service filtration system so we have pulled back between 19 and 140 percent and that's the sweet spot that's where we need to be also the stochastic is part of our indicator so we've got this false breakout bar uh, bar on the bottom here which denotes a really strong bearish trend the stock actually just pulled back against there crossed in the overbought zone now it's like an elastic band it wants to go back to that main bearish trend whether it's the right time or not we don't know we've just got to set up a reasonably uh, conservative entry strategy to to give us a chance to get in this trade now friday's um bar was quite solid and green so we could see a further move up um, and get a higher resistance level we just need to keep adjusting if that happens but we our signals membership gives you these signals in plenty of time so you can keep them on your watch list set them up and adjust in case we get those higher resistance levels for shorts or lower support levels for the longs so in this case at this moment in time before the markets open on Monday the 18th we have a potential short setup here we're going to go short below the 6.4 moving average low which is the red moving average here which is part of our Elliott wave indicator suite and used for our uh, conservative entry strategy here so we've got an entry around about 21.94 okay 21.94 entry the stop loss is above this indecision doji here this wave 4 high at uh, uh, 25.8 so $25.80 there for the stop loss. The target, as you can see, is around about $16. So we've got a great risk reward here of 1 to 1 1.6 into the target zone. So decent risk reward, potential short. Now this could pull back higher, don't forget. At this moment in time, it's good. If it turns back down and breaks this, then the momentum's back where we want it to be. And it will go down, most likely, an 85% probability, remember, that it's going to go into our new wave 5 low. Now, if it does pull book, pull back higher and we get a higher wave 4 all we do is adjust the stop loss 
an entry with a 6-4 moving average low for the entry and the stop loss just above the wave 4 every day until we find that final resistance. But at this stage, looks good. If it can turn back down today, we should be in for a really good short on CWH. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.